Quick shot there in and out of the bread basket of Milner. Deflects over to the far side. Oh, nice move here in a two on. Oh, shorthanded for the Thunder. Cutting in to Brace. Back to a pass. They score! Riley Whitmore gets his first as a Thunder player. And he cashes in with a beautiful one time bullet past the glove of Okinora. 1 0 Thunder lead. And that is their third shorthanded goal of the season. It's the fourth that Ontario has allowed this year. Keenan finds the loose puck. His shot is broken up. Back to the point. Spot check. Oh, great fake shot. Back to a pass. They score. That was a pretty play. And it's put into the empty net. Thunder have a 2 nothing lead. And I believe it's Adam Brace again with his second point of the night as he set up the last one to Riley Wetmore that was shorthanded. Beautiful goal. Yeah, and this was a great one, though, because Michael Spacek got the puck at the point. Instead of trying to fire, he found Ryan Hayes, and he feeds over to Adam Brace, who just deposits the puck. Back to Oslansky. 10.45 to go in this third period. Quick pass. Henry on goal. He scores! James Henry with a bullet wrister hard and low. And it's a 3-0 Thunder lead here in the third period. 10.42 to go. You got to say, everything working out for the Thunder. Not a lot of shots this frame, but they're making them count. Yeah, it's looking really good right now for the Thunder, who are just moving the puck tremendously and let's take a look at that replay as it was Garrett Hunt who fed it up front and just a beautiful wrister there by James Henry. Face off at the left wing circle, Trevino waiting for it to drop. Lionsman Brett Martin finally does so, he goes behind the Ontario net and that does it, the Stockton Thunder win this one three to one they have their first victory of the season against the ontario rain on home ice it was a long time coming but it finally comes in a standout performance the thunder win this one by two i was going to ask you about milner just you know ever since he came back from bridgeport he's just looked he's really much... steady solid in control uh, no panic to his game and uh, he's been you know for the most part covering up all of the rebounds so there's not a lot laying around in front of them which makes it easy for our defense for sure but I think very very uh, you know controlled in his game I and mean, he's in position he's anticipating well so it's been it's been nice to have both guys uh, you know playing well the way they are a uh, couple of things so uh, let's talk about what we, we could Ryan Hayes a little bit did he you know skate around? I mean he, did, he didn't get off a shot but he did get an assist so he was getting in on plays um, long time for him coming back so you know takes a while to get into it but I thought pretty good and, and you know he dropped the block a, a shot which was huge at the end there which made a big difference for us and shows his you know his commitment to to the team and, and getting doing what he has to do to win games uh, first and foremost I mean offensively it's going to come but uh, I thought he made some plays he had a couple quick shots off the uh, side of the net that that almost found their way in he's pretty uh, he's pretty uh, creative in those situations where he, the goaltenders aren't expecting him to release a shot in, a, in situations where most guys won't and he finds ways to do that and it's it's dangerous all the time. What's different with this half of the season? We know the first half it seemed to be a little bit of struggles but now you're really coming on. So what's going through your mind and what's going on out there? Um, I don't know. I'd say I was, I was pretty frustrated with my wins and losses in the beginning. I come from a place where um, we don't lose very often. Even if I don't play very well, uh, we didn't lose very often. And so um, just taking a lot of losses was really tough for me at first. Um, but just kind of focusing on controlling what I can control and kind of settling in here has helped a lot. And um, it, it feels good to be in one place for, for a solid amount of time. How was your wind and stuff? I know you've been practicing, so right. it's not like you've been eating Cheetos on a couch. No, no. But, but if you, how was still the game's different? Yeah, practice. definitely. So, yeah. how was your win? Uh, it was good. If, uh, you know, the first couple periods, you can see I was a little sluggish. It takes a while to get used to a game, and, you know, they had the ice out, so the ice was in the best conditions. But we played way, and finally the line started clicking on the third period. How did you like your new line Oh, it's good. Yeah, things are going well. They were playing together before, so yeah. Marty got called up, so I got to fill on the spot and try to fill his shoes, I guess. Did the players uh, like talk to you about the animosity between this team and Ontario before this game tonight? No, I just feel like there's a little animosity between every team here, so it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, no, it was just like another game, just got to go out, keep it simple, and uh, I thought we played well tonight, especially in the third period. 
I know the last shift in the game, the guys were out there for almost three minutes, and that's what it's going to take to win in playoffs, and I thought they did a great job today.